Welcome back to the channel. Well, there is a chance of rain today. It's pretty small. A little bit better chance of rain tonight yet. And then uh, I think it was Tuesday. It was a real good chance of rain coming up. Um, so I am thinking, so we don't happen again, we're going to put the four star inside. Uh, so, yeah, so stuff doesn't get water inside again. Um, this is the proper factory elbow on here, um, but just the way it's designed here, that's not so awesome. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet to remedy that. Um, there is some putty you could put around here, but it, that kind of makes it semi-permanent, which, well, that ain't so hot either. Uh, as far as I can tell, there is no leaks. You know, the manifold gasket's not leaking. Um, so there's no reason to take all that apart. And uh, somebody commented, and I agree, it's amazing that I could get this thing started without even touching the carb. Uh, that, you know, he must, it, it must have been dry when he shut it off the last time. And uh, there was no water in there because that, you know, you, you've seen what the, how it ran, you know, after it got all the crap out of the exhaust. And, you know, I'm really surprised there wasn't nuts or corn or something in there too. Um, yeah. That just, I got lucky, that's that's for sure. Uh, speaking of lucky, um, as you can tell, this is not the original dash, if you're a Moline person. I have a dash that came with a bunch of parts with that tractor and all the other ones. And this is it here. Um, it's not super nice, but it is, this piece here is, is correct, and that's what's more crucial. You can buy these aftermarket, um, has the, has another choke cable, which I'm sure is junk, and the tack cable is junk as well. So, I might use that with the new new parts here. Um, when we start working on this, I just want to get it inside. Um, I'm kind of thinking about painting that hood and getting it on there so it looks a little nicer too. Um, we'll, we'll see. Don't I, I, I'm not sure yet. But, you know, it's partially tore down now. I don't need to start another restoration project on this tractor. I want to work on that 900 and that's to decide. And I also put a different lens cap on this GoPro. I don't know if you can tell or not, um, but it shouldn't have that little glare if, if it's in the sun like it like it was before. So, and I can't believe how easy that was to do. You just turn it uh, 45 degrees, 45, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Nope, yeah, 90 degrees, pop right off. Wow. Simple as that. So, I don't know. I did locate a draw bar for this. Um, I think this is the correct one here. Here, let me get it out a little bit farther here. We'll just set it right here. Uh, yeah, it's dirty, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm missing the roller. This should have a uh, single, single roller on the back. <sighs> yeah, a single roller. Mm hmm okay well those aren't too too hard to come by and i did pick up finally a double roller draw bar roller that's for my g6 we'll get that on sometime for too long but i'm kind of thinking i want to paint these hoods just to get them done and get them on the tractor uh but of course these are a different color than the majority of this part um this needs a real good bath it's not horrible, but it needs a good bath and we could paint. It wouldn't take much to paint all this. Because I think this tank is fairly loose, isn't it? No, it's not. It's fastened there and fastened there with. But there's only a couple bolts to hold that on. I don't know. You got me thinking. This, this would, uh, ah, uh, I don't know. If I worked on this one, then I could save money on the other one too, or I could be working on that one at the same time. Hmm. <laughs> There's an idea. Okay. Glad you thought of that. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll keep working on the four star. It seems like the four star. I've had oh, quite a few people comment about the four star in a positive way. How they how they like it. They were their favorite. Um, and I'll be honest with you too. When these are painted right up and sharp, these look good. Um, I'm just kind of, kind of, because I want to be able to use this tractor. I did order gaskets for here, uh, new tappet cover gasket. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I might, we might do that. Uh, Jay Grosskreutz, I know, sells uh, these handles here, so we could get those. That wouldn't be too hard. But, yeah, we could strip this down and paint this, the, the bronze metallic. I could order paint from my buddy Clint. Uh, you guys, you got me thinking. But I definitely would, definitely would take the tank off so I can get in there and clean and paint. But, you know, maybe, maybe take the alternator off for now. And clean that all up. I'm thinking that this is may may not be the original fan and water pump just because it's a different color, and and um, I think we can see from this side over here. That's a torched hole <clears throat> to get to there to that drain. So maybe the water pump isn't the original. I don't. That's that's what I'm wondering. So and I did order uh, the hose. For here and here and there should be a steel pipe that goes in between I haven't located one of them yet I didn't order one but I think I've got one around here but hmm yeah yeah this would look pretty sweet I have to figure out where this oil leak is coming from something to do with the steering hmm. okay well let's get her inside at least and then uh, I want to change the oil again like we talked about um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, that, that, that'd be pretty sweet. This would be, oh, just had a brainstorm. This would be a good tractor to haul uh, with my 950 to the show next year. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that tractor weighs somewhere right around the, you know, 10 to 12,000 pound range. And this tractor only weighs four, 45-ish. Uh, especially if, if the tires loaded I can take all that out of there um, so it weighs 10 4 yeah if it weighs 12,000 and this is 4,000 I'm still okay I mean I'm right there but um, I don't know we'll see it just be be a nice one or I could haul you know three of these this 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 size is what I was thinking of to a show um, I don't know maybe next year I'll be my breakout season for taking tractors to shows so I don't know we'll see I don't know I just think that would be cool and uh, you know if I could get this one no no not even gonna say it so I'm not gonna get it done before Labor Day yeah that's for sure I don't, I don't think I have enough money yet to uh, do everything it needs so I'll need seat cushions and got to straighten the fenders I have some more fenders out back they might be nicer I'll, I'll put the nicest ones on grill screens I can get those yet re uh, re uh, Repop, reproduction. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got to fire up that power washer too. But I want to get all the oils, or not oils, uh, yeah, oil leaks fixed. We'll do that. Then we'll get her back out and power wash it. Um, try out that new to me power washer. It um, bought it for my buddy Brent, and he was telling me that the heater part doesn't work, which is quite common for, uh, you know, these hot water pressure washers um oh the other thing we need to work on is clutch too there is some adjustment left uh this seems like when you push the clutch down there's a hesitation on actually kicking it out of gear so okay well enough of that let's get this baby fired up
She's a press. Oh, I did order a new uh, switch too. Oh, burning off the generator. Or alternator, I should say. Sorry. Smooth runner dresser, that's for sure. There. Okay. <laughs> you know, well, you know the alternator works if it's going to run like that. So, yeah, I got a little bit of oil leak here, leaking around that, that gasket I used there. So, eh, we can take care of that. Maybe I should try to tighten it up. Maybe I should try to wash this thing before we get too excited. Hmm. That is a good idea. Maybe I'll do that while, before it rains here. What is this wire? Oh, just sitting there. Okay. Oh, yeah. This would be a good, a good candidate to, uh, you know, try my power washer, I should say. I'm going to take, uh, take the gas tank off. We'll take this dash and do something different with it. Especially since it's just sitting there. Yeah, it literally is just sitting there. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll take this, take this over, uh, and we'll try out that new power washer. Okay, well, um, I just remembered my power washer that I got um, didn't come with the uh, the spray nozzle, you know, spray gun. So I have one of those ordered, and my old one got broken. Now, we won't mention why. <laughs> anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing prepped. We'll just pull it over there. I won't be able to drive it um, and get it washed off and go from there. So I can, uh, what, what I'll probably do, I'm going to take the gas tank off. We'll take the fenders off for now. Um, I'm going to see if I can try to straighten this one out a little bit. Not sure what happened there. I don't, yeah, that one needs to be straightened as well. Hmm, okay. Well, anyways, I'll take those off. Um, this side's not so bad, but that side, there's a lot more grease on there. So I'm just figuring once I get that, everything working there, that we'll be able to get that out of there. Um, get that off. I don't think this tractor will, will take much to, you know, get it cleaned up and make her pretty. Um, I am going to need to put this gasket on here. So probably what I'll do is uh, we'll drain the oil again. Anyways, because I wanted to do that, and uh, that gasket should be here. How I'm hoping early this week, then we can get this all re resealed back up, and then you know go from there. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, oh, I wanted to show you what I picked up at the uh, the tractor show yesterday. I didn't buy much. There's there's a, a decent flea market. Um, it's a smaller tractor show, but hey, I picked up a toy. So um, this is not super old. Um, it does say second summer toy festival, six, seven of 87. I um, guess I don't remember. Let's see if I can figure out who made it. Go that route. I guess it doesn't say in about a lot of times on the bottom of the side there, they, they say, they say who made this, but I don't see it on there. It does have uh, Goodrich Silvertown tires on the back <laughs> at least the tread ah that is pretty cool um yeah i picked that up here let's set her set her over here i can talk about it this would be a uh a model uh jtu so i i, I didn't have this toy um uh it's not in pristine condition but it is you know that's cool. So I think someday uh, I'll get I'll get you know an actual tractor like this, but uh, I'm not in a hurry. Um, I think I'd rather have a JTS. And um, last I knew it, there's one of those for sale in Michigan. Uh, but yeah, you know I gotta I gotta calm down right now on uh, buying anything. So we're gonna gonna settle down, fix up what I got for now. Um, actually, I might. I might have to sell sell a few tractors to uh, support my uh, projects going on. So I'm not sure about that. Which which ones I would want to let go. Um, that's that's tough. You know, sometimes this 
tough being a collector and you uh you get attached to to all of them you know and but uh i that's i don't know i've had contemplating you know sell my trailer you know just to make up money but then then what do i do you know i sell my gooseneck trailer which i can get decent money out of it but i use it it's paid for you know 100 percent. i own it 100 percent and then you know then i'm gonna go want to get a new one or at least new to me and probably spend more money than what i sold it to begin with so that's that's how come i probably better not sell that <laughs> you know the the thoughts that go go through your mind i guess but uh, anyways, um, yeah, I had somebody who was kind of interested in this tractor too, but I really want to, I want to keep this one for uh, the reasons we talked about. So, um, but uh, yeah, I, I think what I'm going to do for sure is get this one, get this one cleaned up and uh, figure out what needs to be resealed. Um, I think there's an O-ring in here, snap ring and an O-ring, or at least an O-ring on the, each side of this piston. I don't know if that's leaking or just has grease on it. Okay. This side, well, this side's got the same thing going on, but I don't know. Definitely, definitely got something leaking down in here. Getting that all greasy. Have to figure out what that is too before we paint. Yeah. Definitely, definitely needs washed up. Maybe we'll figure out where all the leaks are for sure. But uh, there's not doesn't seem too bad. Let's check the check the axle seals. That one's got a little bit of grease on there. But yeah, you know, let's try these tractors. Sometimes they yeah, this one's really dirty. So yeah, and I've got some hydro. Must got some kind of hydraulic leak. This looks like the outlets might be leaking. Possibly it could be a hose. The hoses actually don't look too bad. Those couplers don't look so so awesome. Maybe this need to be cleaned. Um, I'm debating if I want to put the battery back here where it's supposed to be. Um, but it is a little bit handy there. But I think I'll I think I'll put it back where it's supposed to be. Then uh, I'll take that uh, battery tray off of there and put it somewhere else or you know use it on some other tractor sometimes if you need those for a tractor has a loader on it or something or if you take up i mean you take a loader off of it and then you need need a spot sometimes too but um yeah well that's the plan so i think that's what we're going to do today i'm going to get this get the gas tank off and then we can clean it out too jake said he th thought he saw a bunch of stuff in there so another thing i need to do there's some some kind of Oh, I don't feel too bad in there, but there is some seeds from the squirrels or mice or whatever. Need to get that cleaned out too, so I'll have to take that off. Wonder where all this is coming from here? Or just the uh, just using it probably. Uh, that hose, that hose doesn't feel too bad. Hmm. Just checking her out. Uh, one nice thing, this one sounds, you know, looks like the governor's in good shape. Um, we don't have to fix that one. Um, I am going to fix at least one of the Jetstar 3's governor. Uh, the low band one probably is going to need to come in and we'll fix that governor. Um, it's basically the same process you would do on this tractor. You know, the front end. Front end's got to come off so you can get to the crankshaft pulley. And then uh, you can... One nice thing is you won't have to get underneath the tractor to work on it. You can see everything in here. So, but uh, yeah, but that's going to be a different tractor. So I'm just checking out the wiring here. This must have been for the lights is my guess. Where's that wire? Yeah, they're not even hooked up. So, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind redoing that as well. The wiring harness itself doesn't look doesn't look bad but I don't know. it is crusty though so there, temperature gauge yep I think that worked actually I think all these gauges actually do work I know we know the pressure gauge work we know the amp meter works so hmm 
and I have a new gasket coming for this. Um, Dad needed one too for the the Shark the sixty seven U three hundred two diesel. All right, where's this one? This one goes to the to the rear light. Looks like this heavy heavy blue wire. Holy cow! They got a lot of extra, don't they? <laughs> A lot of spider nest. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just checking it out here. I think we'll we'll do something different with them too. So cut that wire off. Okay. All right. Well, let me get ready, and we'll <coughs> excuse me. We'll get the fenders off of this and the gas tank. Um, I think. Well, for the minute, we'll leave the dash hooked up but it's not really okay it was just sitting on there <laughs> so okay all right i'll bring you back in a minute all right let's start out by unhooking the gas line here i guess i could probably take that battery out of there too see i think you know, somebody can quick correct me if I'm wrong, but the early, you know, like the 59s, uh, you know, the four star, G6, M5, you know, those like that. The brown belly part wasn't the Dyna Brown. Um, a lot of them were the, the metallic brown that they had. Um, it's got shiny, shiny particles, you know, in, in the paint. Seems like the early early ones like that um, were like that, um, or was it the late ones? I don't know, cause my my G6 is the same way. It's got that sparkly color to it. I'm gonna tighten this clamp up so it stays on here. And the weatherman was correct. It is currently sprinkling right now. So, okay, so. Oh, let's see. I don't know if there's any creatures in here that want to bite me. Can't remember if that bolt's got to come out. I know there's one here and one there. Well, I'll grab a 9 16 so get that off. Right. I need to make a list. I need to get a dash, a choke cable. Yeah. There's a little spacer in here. I don't remember about that. <clears throat> if you can see that there, in between the uh, between the manifold. So, all right. Put these all back together here. Yes, I got the other one out. Uh, you know, we, I showed in the uh, 
other videos that you know about this uh, custom lever that they did for uh, you know on the starter here <laughs> I'm gonna leave that I like it I think it's a um, a neat it's not original but um, it's just one of them things that tells a story you know and if uh, the previous owner sees this at a show or you know he's over here and he's yep I did that or you know that, that you know he, he He'll be able to uh, identify his tractor. So, if this was your tractor, you do what you want. But uh, I, I don't. I just think that's neat. And if this is your first time to the channel, here I'll show you. So, anyways, yeah. Originally, this should have had a big loop right here, so you pull back and it engages the starter. Well, somebody made this little thing here, so you just use your foot and pull back and it'll, and it'll engage the starter simple but effective and tells a story you know a guy had a bad back or something I don't I, you know what I, I don't know what the reason was why he did that other than it is on there so All right, what is this, one here? this is this is the throttle all right, I'm just trying to get some stuff out of the way here so I can get in there. Part of the problem is I can't see either. But there we go. How do I work again? Can't really get down there with the ratchet part. There's too many other parts too close, apparently. I'm gonna have to use the open end. And I can't. I'm going by feel. All this just so I can clean it. But that's okay. I'm gonna leave the four wheels on this so we can roll it back out. And what I'll probably do is we'll get it washed. Then I'll get the farm all A out. So that can get up really easy and then we'll put this one probably up there um, and then the 900 we're gonna I'm gonna get that out soon that'll probably sit right here and then we'll be working on a couple tractors again I think I always have a couple projects going so I do that because you know if I have if I'm waiting on parts or you know just so I'm, so I'm always doing something I need to get this shed cleaned right out and get it insulated so we can have heat here in the winter. You know, other than a you know like a salamander or something, because that's that would be kind of loud. All right, I need a light. There. Well, maybe I can see. Oh yeah, that makes my life a lot better. But, uh, so anyways, uh, next weekend is, uh, oh, it's got to be around the 15th, whatever, you know, August 15th and that closest, I think it's the 16th actually is the, is the Saturday, but um, I, uh, my original plan, and it still is at the minute, is to go to the Oakley Tractor Show. Um, but there's a tractor show nearby me that has some uh, uh, cool tractors in it. Um, I'm not in the market to, to, to buy any of them, but uh, if you're a Moline guy, or an Oliver guy, or a white guy, as in white farm equipment, um, this this would interest you so I I don't know I might go over on Friday do a preview on it I don't know I kind of I want to go just to well you know how auction sales are and this is actually a live auction you know which is getting fewer and far between you know you know a lot of a lot of the old boys will go to an auction just for the social part aspect of it you know and, and, and the hot dog <laughs> but uh, 
it's kind of a getting to be a thing of the past but in the auction company that has it doesn't have online bidding or anything like that they're uh, I've, I've kind of talked to them about it for and they're they're kind of dead dead against it I guess um, I, I, I don't know if I you know agree with that you know what's the the way it, uh, auctions are nowadays is people like online bidding, you know, and a lot of, especially it seems like farmers that are busy and they want to be able to bid from their tractor, their combine, or, you know, from home and so they can keep working, it uh, seems like to me, but I know, I know some people like that too that don't have time to waste, you know, four to six hours, you know, or more on an auction sale just to watch something sell for too much or, you know, they don't know what time it's going to sell. So that, that's why they're waiting around so long. But, uh, and, I, and I understand that, you know, some people are busy. But my dad, myself, you know, yeah. We can stay all day to watch one thing. So I did that one time. I was at an auction sale There was no molding tractors at the sale, but I could see in one of the like preview photos or whatever There were some suitcase weights in the auction Minneapolis molding suitcase weights. I waited all day And I think there was only two but uh, <laughs> those suitcase weights and I got them They were cheap But well, that's, that's been a while ago already. What's going on? My Allen wrenches. Your, your Allen wrenches? Yeah. I don't know where they're at. I didn't see them. You had them out here. Huh? You had them out here. I did? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, Jake must have a project he's working on. What are you working on? Adjusting my drawing. Oh, okay. But anyways, so... I know, oh, I got a couple friends that are after, after one tractor. I'm purposely not giving it away. Um, but, but probably what I'll do is I will go over and preview it on Friday. Then the video will come out, you know, probably Saturday, you know, after the sale. Um, you know, I watched, uh, I started following Oh, a, a dairy farmer in Minnesota. Uh, well, I'll just tell you, Trin Trinity Dairy, you know. I, I enjoy watching the small farm stuff, actually, I think more than, you know, the big farmers, you know. Um, and, and I do watch those guys, too. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, it just seems like I can relate better to the small farmers, you know. And I, watch, I like watching the dairy farm ones, too, just because, I don't know. You know, we, we had dairy cows on the farm until 1986. Um, then uh, always had cattle after that. Um, there actually is cattle back on the farm now. Uh, not very many, you know, we're near the number that used to be. But, um, uh, anyways, I don't know, it just brings back memories. You know, and anything that makes me think of my grandfather is, 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 is always a good memory. Um, I appreciate it and stuff. Um, so, but anyways, he did did an auction. Uh, he's done a couple now, where he go preview the auction, and then uh, you know, and he did, he would edit it, in the video, and add in what they brought, you know, after the sale, and then you know, then upload it. So, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of neat. So, you know, that might be something I can do um, for you. <clears throat> Just uh, kind of get a little market analysis. You know, some people might be, you know, get ticked off at, you know, posting prices because they're, you know, they're an equipment jockey or, you know, they bought something to sell it or just didn't know. But, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. You go to any, any public auction, you know, the, that, that information, what's going to bring his public knowledge. 
Um, you gonna, they can find out anyways. But I understand, you're trying to do, make a business. That, that's like, you know, if I go to somebody's house and they're selling me a tractor, oh, it's stuck or, you know, at least doesn't run, you know, then, you know, if I, I would to, you know, get that tractor running and drive it on my trailer when they sold me a non-runner tractor, some people will get ticked off. But it is what it is, you know, hey, we made a deal. You sold, you sold me a tractor, non-running, but so I don't know. I I think from and, and and I never had that experience, but I just could could see that. You know, I've talked to friends of mine who've done that, and you know, people get ticked right off. You know, which you know I and I understand why they got ticked off. You know, they uh, felt like they you know could have got more money out of the out of the tractor if it was running, which is true. But they didn't get it running. So, as far as they knew, it didn't run. So, yeah, there's that. Hmm. Kind of a neat, neat, neat little deal there that somebody made. So, I'd like to hear the story on who made that. The guy I bought this from was a machinist. And if I had to guess, I don't think he made this. You know, this, this looks like not all that uh, fancy, but... Maybe he did, I don't know. So, all right, there we go. Okay, we're loose now. I should be able to get that out. All right, I'm gonna back the light up. Okay. I don't want it to fall off. But. See what I could have done. Ah. Okay, well, what I could have done is took these two bolts out, possibly, and got that out easier. But that spider just got relocated. Okay. So this does have a a port. You know for putting a fuel gauge in here that's just got a, like a delete plate um and i do believe that originally they did have a fuel gauge yeah put that away yeah. Yeah. The only thing i bought it bought it see i'm not watching the show Okay, well, that worked out pretty good. All right, looks like we got inhabitants. Flying creatures, as Ross would say. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt this back down for now. And uh, yeah, that way we can get that cleaned out. Um, I'll uh, relocate those guys. And then, uh, glad I didn't stick my hand in there too much. But yeah, it looks like that U-joint was well greased. There must be, a, there's a grease dessert yeah, right here. I knew there was one on there. The tractor's in pretty good shape. Just looking at all the freeze plugs here. One nice thing, the radiator doesn't leak. We filled that up. The only spot that leak was in this overflow here too, but that missing. That should come down to here. But front cross isn't broke. We'll call it a cross, but on a 445, 335, five star, you know, that's a cross, but a lot of times these can get broken, but this one's in really good shape, which is a plus. I think we're gonna get rid of some of these wires here. It's a good thing I'm doing the video because we know this wire here went to the rear lights. <laughs> and I can hook that one. See where this one goes too, but we could hook up this to the front lights as well so all right okay well i'm gonna get rid of those fry, flying creatures the look like wasp hornets definitely not bees so yeah i'll get them relocated and bring you back jake's on his way out 
It's a good time to grab some more starter fluid. I don't know if you can hear the rain in the background, but it's raining. That's okay, it doesn't bother me today. So, I mean, it's a good thing I got this tractor in here because then I'd be worried about that, you know, getting water inside there and then. Ugh. What are we doing? I'm getting these flat screws out of here. I already got that one loose. I can reach it, bro. Here's the hammer. Okay. Okay. So, and I'll I'll turn the screwdriver. This is where it gets sketchy. I won't hit you. Huh? I won't hit you. Well, if you do hit me, don't drop the hammer and run. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna need it for self-defense. No, I'm oh. no, I'm just kidding. I know I know you won't do it on purpose. But okay, I'll turn it, you hit it. Here, let's uh that way you don't hit that lever. Oh, yeah, I should have told you that's gonna go down. Do it. Stop. We're gaining. Okay, I had to reach. Go ahead. Stop. Continue. One more time. Okay. Whew. Why are we taking this off? I want to paint. You want to paint this tractor right now? Well, not today. Oh. But I want to get these off so I can power wash all this stuff and get it actually all nice and clean. Yeah, hot water power wash. I know, guys. It's it part of the plan. But I want to get the fenders off because these are a different color. The fenders and sheet metal are a different color than the rest of the tractor. And we got lots of them, don't we? What? These fenders? No, I might have one or two sets. But uh, I don't know if they're as nice as these or not. There's nuts on. Oh, geez, oh, Pete. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Oh, darn it. <sighs> what size nuts are they? Okay. Three quarters. I had a brain fart. Moment. All right. I was thinking they were just screwed in there. Come right on. Okay. Hmm. My snap ring didn't hold. Still on there, but. Hmm. Okay. Can you reach this thing? Or, or give me that, you hold this. Hmm. That's pretty loose. Oh, it's loose there. I don't think it's just on this one. I didn't get it on that one very good either. It's kind of bad. I got it though. All right. Here, put these. Looks like brand new metal right there. Yeah, it does. All right, thank you, Jake, for your help. I forgot, it, apparently it's been a while. Well, I, I have seen some of those that they were screwed down in, but this one had a through bolt through them holes there, and you know, holes in that, uh, in the fender bracket there, and that's what held those on, so. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to go through all that trouble, but hey, it maybe it made better content for you. <laughs> That was not my intention, though. Neither was that, to drop my...
tool there. All right, well, clean some more grease out out of here. Okay. All right, well, time to get the fenders off. Okay, 1560s. Probably gonna put these right back in their holes. These don't have struts uh, on the outside to go down the axle like the bigger ones do. When I, when I say bigger ones, I mean bigger tractors. Okay. Trying to carefully not knock any dirt in there. Okay, there. Cool. Yep. Dirt and grease. I don't know if this is all from this uh, hydraulic unit could be leaking too. There's an, uh, some O-rings in here, but we'll get her washed off. Then we'll. I think we'll get her washed off. I'll put a temporary tank back on it, and uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, we can figure out what all these oil leaks are. So. Just to make sure, I don't want to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed, but yeah, yeah, you know how that goes. Okay, all right, other side. Oh, that's grease. Okay, there. I should look a little different. Get that hose out of here. Thanks. All right, now it's power wash time. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll power wash it. Then we'll drain the oil out of here, um, just in case we get some somehow we get water inside that'll drain out when we drain the oil. That makes sense. Hope so. Okay. Well, I think that we'll cut the video here. It's probably been long enough. Um, probably what I'll in the next video of this four star series. Um, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be power washing and then, you know, getting everything prepped for painting, but we're going to fix leaks first. Um, you know, figure that out too. But, uh, yeah, I got to decide too on what I'm going to do because I was noticing that the fender brackets looked like the bottom part was brown, but the upper part was yellow. I'm thinking I'm going to, I got to see if I can figure out. What color is that bracket supposed to be? Is that supposed to be all brown, all yellow? Or is it... Because this side, this side is fully exposed. I'm thinking they're going to be all yellow. That's just what I'm thinking. So, okay. All right. Well, enough of that. Then I got to decide also, I think, I think I'll paint the weights red. Because I think originally that's probably the, what the color that well, they look good yellow as well on there, and they probably would look good the brown. Oh boy! Hey, leave a comment. What color should I paint the weights on here? And I know we're a long ways from there, but I don't mind you know, um, you know, playing in ahead. I got to order paint, um, so I'm gonna have to order. I have some of the yellow yet, 
from a different project but I do have to order yellow for the 900 but now you got to order the um, um, bronze metallic for the body of this tractor for the and then uh, the yellow for the rims the hood and the fenders and the front cross I'm calling it the cross we'll call it the grill but that can be taken off real quick and uh, yeah go from there so okay all right well that's enough of that so I guess uh, we'll call her here and uh, hey I appreciate y'all watching uh, this video was probably gonna come out Monday I would think um, so just so you know and then uh, we'll continue working on this then uh, look forward to after next weekend uh, probably in a, you know I'll have a, the Oakley show for sure I might have the Buckley show and these are both in Michigan and then uh, awesome auction sale uh, content I should say and I'm not gonna say footage or whatever but uh, yeah we'll go from there but uh, hey I appreciate y'all watching we'll see you in the next one